Philly Style, FPV, thank you for a $5 super chat. Hey, JB, happy model F4 Crazy B board. The VTX is going out. Very bad range. How do I disable it and wire in a new VTX? So, Philly Style, I want to start by saying, are you sure that you're not in pit mode? I have. Uh, this is the Diamond VTX, not the Crazy B board. So, maybe it's a different VTX. Um, this thing shipped with... Uh, here, let's plug it in. I do believe it will still work with USB. It's just the ESC is toast. So this flight controller shipped with... If we go into the video transmitter tab, it shipped with low power disarm turned on. Okay. And what that means is it stays in pit mode until you arm. And I was like getting terrible, terrible range. And then, as, then I, when I realized what was happening, I was like, oh, okay. Now you said, what did you say? Very bad range. I assume that you're flying it. But the other thing is that if you mess up the VTX table, hang on. So here we are. If you get the these numbers wrong. Do you see that these numbers go 1, 2, 14, 16, 26? If you get the power values wrong, that's that's the specific numbers that have to be right. The VTX will lock itself at its lowest output power. So if I were to just mess these up, I don't know how I, would, I don't know what exactly I would do to mess them up. Um uh, but you could have a messed up VTX table. If you legitimately are sure that your VTX is uh, messed up, I'm not sure how you could disable it, to be honest with you. Um, you could always put it in pit mode. You could put it in pit mode and desolder the antenna and then cross your finger. 